for this week's episode of SVSN. I'm your anchor, Chance McNally, and this guy's Eric Mullins, but nobody cares about him. He thinks he's hot stuff because he caught a couple interceptions this year. But uh, So this week we actually only have a couple stories for you. We don't really have much going on. And really? At work? Yeah. Answer your phone. Hello? Yeah, Travis, what's up? Hey, where you at? Dude, I'm right beside you. No, you're not. Other side. That's There's that. a chance. Oh, no. Chance. 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 So our first story this week is going to be about our blood drive. Hey. And what? Where did you go? I've been here the whole time. That's a lie. I am 100% sure well, I have not. That bearded been. kid was just sitting here. Travis, he's not even here. Okay, I must be tripping or something. Like I was saying, the blood drive is going on this past week, and it was very successful. So we have more on the story with Ashton. Thanks, Chance. You guys are probably wondering why I have the Red Cross symbol behind us. Well, Thursday, March 9th, the Red Cross came to our school for a blood drive. Here's some pictures and more information about it. The blood drive raised over 81 units of blood. The student council members helped with both the blood drive and the bake sale that raised over $400 that's going towards the Zach Farmer Scholarship Fund. Thanks, Ashton, for that very good story on our very successful blood drive. Where did Chance go? And you're the bearded kid, I think. It's weird. Chance was Call never here, dude. Chance is you never here. How did, when did I leave? I want to go back to sleep. You know what? Just I sleep, sleep, sleep. I got to Okay, so now on to our next story with G&G &G talking about St. Baldrick's. Out to you. Hey, what's up? It's Garrett. And Grass. This is the real G's and we're about to go have some fun. Yeah, we are. <laughs> this is what's going to happen to you if you donate for St. Baldrick's. St. Baldrick's is on May 5th. And the theme this year is Cinco de Mayo, so donate here and give money. Yeah. Wow. Well, St. Baldrick's. Thank you, G&G, &G, on that great report on St. Baldrick's. <laughs> now, that's all we have for this week, but... Hey. What? Where is the bearded kid named Travis? What are you talking about? He was just here. You've been sleeping the whole time. That, I have not. Eric, I have been sitting here reporting while you have been sleeping on the job. Well, he, he was not here. <laughs> yes, he was, Chance. You need to go home. You know what? I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Bye. Bye, Valley. They didn't want you here anyway, so we... Hey, keep it classy. And it's always a great day for you. I can rest you. Remember that. Boo. This is the stuff I have to put up with every day. So, back to what I was saying. We don't have any announcements this week. I know it's a bummer. But I'm going to send it out to the sports team. Hopefully they have a little bit more for you. So thank you for tuning in to SVSN. And I'm going to send you to the sports team. Out to you guys. Good afternoon. And welcome to this episode of SVSN. I'm your sports anchor, Gabe Berkheimer. I'm Ethan Crabtree. I'm Bain Fuller. And this week on SVSN, first off, Eric Mullins signing a piece of paper with or for Wilmington College to play football. And who has more on that story? I believe Baden knows who has more on that story. Uh, our very young Dakota does. Dakota, out to you with Eric signing. Thanks guys, I'm here with Python's Eric Mullins who just recently signed with Wilmington College to further his football career. Eric, why did you pick Wilmington? Um, 
I liked it up there. I felt at home. I love the new coaching staff they have going out there. They're in the reprocess of rebuilding the team, and they're putting in a new weight room. Um, we're getting new turf on our field. Um, and one of my best friends is actually going to be there too, so it makes me feel a lot better. And that would be Travis Beach. Um, did you have any other choices? Um, I had I had a few other choices. I had Capital University, I had Cincinnati Christian University, I had Kentucky Christian University, I had West Virginia State University, I had Marietta, I had Otterbein, I had Wooster, and I had McMurray College all the way in Illinois. Hmm. If there was anything that you could do over throughout your four years of football in high school, what would you do? Um, I'd relive this past football season just because we had such a great year and I'd do anything to go back to the two games that we got messed up over and took away our playoffs. That would be nice. Um, going to Wilmington, what do you hope to achieve? Um, be, su be successful is my top thing, is being successful. And as I get older in college and keep going up in grades, I want to see the lower freshmen look up to me and do the same as I did. Well, congratulations, Eric. Thanks. Back to you guys. Good job on that story, Dakota. And congratulations to Eric Mullins on signing. Gentlemen, congratulations, congratulations Eric. Eric. Now, you guys want to see something really cool? Yeah. <laughs> That was a nice flip, Gabe. Thank you. Wow. Speaking of flipping, guess flipping. who? Speaking of flipping. Flipping! Okay, flipping. Speaking of flipping, guess who decided to sign and cheerlead in college? Who's that, Gabe? Hey, guys. Hey, hey there. Where'd you come from, Kennedy? Off yonder. <laughs> you were only flipping. Yeah, I flipped my way here. Well, Kennedy, where did you sign to cheerlead at in college? At Kentucky Christian University. Ooh, KCU. Nice. Great restaurant. Great school. Yeah, well, what are you most looking forward to? Um, I'm most looking forward to creating bonds with my new teammates and stunting because here at Python, we haven't got to stunt in a long time, so I'm excited for that. Yeah, stunting is a habit. <laughs> yeah. Well, Good luck, Kennedy. Thank you. Thanks for having me, guys. You're welcome. Thanks for coming. Oh. You can leave. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, in more sports news, there is a SBC boys volleyball tournament coming up. Volleyball. Boys volleyball. Can't wait for that. Can you not wait? I can't wait for it. Show me how much you can't wait. I'm so excited. Do something, like prove it. Prove it. Like, prove it! Like, prove it! I'm so excited, boys. That's what I like. I'm so excited. Right. I'm ready to go play boys volleyball. Cause okay. Okay. we don't have a boys volleyball team. Okay. Alright, take it easy. Take it easy, baby. Alright. Well, there's an SBC boys volleyball tournament coming up. Kenny uh, has more on that story. I'll Out to you, you Kenny. SBC Boys Volleyball was this past Thursday. Nice job, Kenneth Robertson, and good luck to our SBC Boy Volleyballers. Mm -hmm. Now, in other news, Bryce Pearson is doing a little story on baseball, and we happen to have a nice little, nice little uh, baseball player here, don't we, baby? Yeah, nice one. He's a good one, ain't he? He's a great one. Nice one I guess. Why don't you tell us? Um, well, Bryce is covering pretty much everything, but we do have a few scrimmages this upcoming week, and we have been working very hard. Shout out to Gene Baumgartner, Fergie, and Coach Skaggs, and the other, along with the rest of the coaches, for putting in hard work and sacrificing their time with families just to help us play baseball. Well, that's a good job. Why don't you just go ahead and send out to Bryce with the baseball story, and then we'll, we'll console you. Out to you, Bryce. Thanks guys, and now winter sports are gone, so it's time for spring sports. The baseball team has a game this Saturday at Pure Sun Mart in Cincinnati, and a game home against Athens this Wednesday on the 22nd. That's all I have. Back to you guys. 
Nice story, Bryce. And for all of our beautiful viewers out there, I just, I hate to inform you that our scrimmage against Sims Valley this week has been canceled. Oh, we couldn't find a bus driver. But the rest are still on and you should be there because they will be nice. Gee dang it! I can't wait for baseball. I cannot either. And Baden, I believe you'll be in our dugout with us, won't you? Heck yeah, buddy. I'll be in the dugout all season. Yep, for all you SBSN watchers out there, <coughs> make sure you get on Twitter and check Baden's Twitter page. And so I sports with me, Daddy. That's right, because you'll be providing updates of games, won't you, Baden? Yeah, buddy. So make sure you give Baden a follow on his sports Twitter page. Now, in upcoming announcements, Baden? Yep. You know what March 29th is, Gabe? Uh, I mean, I think I'm about to. Well, you see, we have this track and field team, and they're going to have their first meet, the 29th. Awesome. Awesome. So make sure you come out and support the track team <clears throat> on March 29th. And 29th. That is insane. This weekend, make sure you come out and support the powerlifting teams in Kenton, Ohio, for the state powerlifting meet. Careful, careful. Don't That's a new PR over. for me. It's the first time I've lifted my arms in weeks. Give me a flex. Ouch. Well, make sure you come out and support the powerlifting team so you can get ripped like Ethan. Now, I'm your sports anchor, Gabe Berkheimer. I'm Ethan Wayne Crabtree. And I'm Bane Trey Ford. To all you out there in the valley, keep it classy. And classy.